Taking you in this moment Come get close like your own name Read your aura, you <laughs> want more of all this okay. life, you'll be your name Release all of your burdens It's been me, you'll be such a Take Specs. a load off and your clothes off Just relax, you deserve it <laughs> Yes, very candid <laughs> Over the summer, Tini invited Karen and I to stay at her place in beautiful Collie. That's Sasha. And the collective chooks. This is yummy. <laughs> On the first night in town, we made pizzas for dinner. which we enjoyed with the setting sun. Dessert was also homemade. But not by me. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning after paying rent, we had breakfast and drove to Wellington National Park for our first swimming spot of the day. Which we found swiftly as we did not get lost on the way because Tierney is a local and that would be embarrassing. <laughs> like the Will Smith meme? <laughs> Okay, so the water is really cold and I'm gonna make me go in. We moved onto the main area of the rapids, which was actually really warm from the sunbathed rocks. Here's me scooting into the water, because you can't fall if you're on the ground, right? And here is Karen cutely almost falling over. I don't have it recorded, but later on, both Tini and Karen fell into the rapids, and for a brief moment, we had no idea how to get them out. But as you can probably guess, they eventually were able to shimmy back up onto shore. At the next location, despite this Dutch angle, we managed to claim and stay in a rock at Big Rock, before abandoning it for another rock at Little Rock. Ugh, Serene doesn't begin to cover it. Something about sitting in nature and being so introspective that just goes hand in hand. We were so lucky to have the next swimming spot all to ourselves. Which meant that nobody could hear a scream as we got in. You can probably guess that we're famished at this point, which we quickly remedied with some homemade rolls. <laughs> this was a core memory right here. The rushing river and the choir of critters, the sun diffusing through the gum trees. And of course, a little local wildlife. The final swim spot of the day was Honeymoon Pool, surprisingly the most busy and our least favourite of the bunch. We still made sure to take a dip, but quickly set off to see the Wellington Dam. <laughs> the 
before finding a secluded area to call ours just for a little while. Mm. <laughs> We came home to dinner prepared by Tini's wonderful mum. Thanks, Tony. The food was definitely so good after all that exercise. Also, look at how talented Tini is. She kept these sugar flowers from a beautiful cake she made for her nana's 90th birthday. On the next day, we visited Black Diamond Lake. Before moving on to the much colder Stockton Lake. We made sure to point out all the surfing dogs to one another and Karen and I took home some pretty pebbles. Lastly, we drove to Lake Kepwari, which was way too cold to swim in by the time we arrived. We dipped our toes, called it a day, and came home to another warm home-cooked dinner. This time, roast. And homemade ice cream. Which Karen and Tierney apparently made whilst I slept in that morning. We shared the evening with Tini's parents, oldest brother and grandparents, who had brought over their pup, Bella, which of course meant double the cuddles. The next morning was officially 12 days after Christmas, which according to Tini's mum meant that it was time for the decorations to come down. At this point, I realised my family's decorations often stayed up for months. <laughs> I guess that's just our tradition. Breakfast was a garlic bread bruschetta inspired dish, which was so delicious. I even recreated it a few weeks after the trip. With our bellies full, we were ready for a paddle down the Minnanup River, which we captured through a romantic lens I call Ziploc. <laughs> Shout out to Karen for these cinematic shots. With the sun on our backs, the water beckoned us in. And of course, Sasha made sure no dangerous ducks were around. After dinner, we headed to Tini's grandparents' place for a night of hot poker. And of course, more cuddles. We decided to stop by Bunbury on the way back to Perth, which of course meant a visit to the beach and the farmer's markets. It was the perfect end to our amazing trip. And it's memories like these that I wish to hold on to forever. <laughs>